Are you the one who steps outside and instantly becomes a mosquito buffet while everyone else stays untouched? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and we're looking at why mosquitoes target some of you more and what you can change to reduce bites. I'm Alara Sky. Mosquitoes read multiple signals from you, scent, heat, breath, and even clothing color. Some signals come from genetics, others from daily habits you can adjust. Once you see which is which, you can dial the attraction down. First principle, only female mosquitoes bite. They use finely tuned sensors to read temperature shifts, movement, and chemical cues rising off your skin and breath. You're broadcasting more than you realize and they are precision hunters. Smell is a major draw. Mosquitoes track natural body odor, and products meant to mask odor can intensify attraction. Scented lotions, floral sprays, and exfoliants with lactic or alpha-hydroxy acids boost the chemical plume mosquitoes follow. Those ingredients are designed to smooth skin, but they also add to the lure. Dermatologist Dr. Jennifer Lucas told the Cleveland Clinic that mosquitoes respond not just to body odor, but also to what you use to cover it. When you layer fragrance-heavy moisturizers, you may be turning yourself into a beacon without knowing it. Visual contrast counts. Dark or bold shades, red, black, orange, cyan, and similar deep colors like navy, stand out. Lighter choices such as white, green, blue, purple, or pale gray are less enticing because they reflect more light and heat, making you harder for mosquitoes to lock onto in low light. Heat itself is a locator. When you're overheated, post-workout, sunbaked, or sweating, your skin radiates more warmth and humidity. Mosquitoes pick up the thermal sensory information quickly and close in. Even mild warmth shifts matter. Warm, damp skin is easier for mosquitoes to find and pierce. Planning outdoor time after you cool down can reduce exposure, and even 10 minutes in shade helps drop the signal. Your breath is another homing guide. Exhaled carbon dioxide forms an invisible trail, almost like breadcrumbs, that mosquitoes detect with sensory palps between their antennae. More CO2 equals a stronger pullover distance. CO2 output rises when you exercise, drink alcohol, or are pregnant. Your skin also releases ammonia, uric acid, and lactic acid, especially when you're hot, stressed, or after alcohol, which layers onto the scent profile mosquitoes track. These stacked cues explain why some evenings you get swarmed. Now the part you can't change, genetics. A PLOS, one twin study using Aedes aegypti, showed mosquito attraction is strongly heritable and not random chance. Identical and fraternal twins were tested in a Y-tube device that let mosquitoes choose between scent streams. Identical twins drew nearly identical mosquito responses. Fraternal twins varied. Analysis put inherited influence at about 62% of attraction, rivaling well-studied traits like height and IQ. Testing twins head-to-head -head confirmed it. Mosquito flight activity toward identical pairs matched closely across trials, signaling shared scent chemistry driven by genetics rather than environmental coincidence. Researchers focused on volatile organic compounds, VOCS, coming off skin. Immune genes in the major histocompatibility complex, or MHC, shape those VOCs. MHC-linked scent differences influence human mate choice and, here, mosquito behavior. Skin microbes reinforce the pattern. Trillions of bacteria break down sweat and add odor molecules. Because identical twins share immune similarities, their microbial and scent profiles align, explaining parallel mosquito appeal in the lab. Mapping those scent pathways could enable personalized repellents, boosting naturally repellent VOCs or muting attractant ones, instead of blanket chemical spraying. That's a promising future direction. Blood type adds another layer. In an American Journal of Entomology study, Aedes aegypti were offered A, B, AB, and O, blood simultaneously through membrane feeders so they could choose freely. Preference was clear. Mosquitoes chose type O significantly more often. Type A was least attractive. If you're O, you face more bites when mosquitoes have a choice, raising disease exposure odds even if you're standing next to friends with other blood types. Yet, post-feeding egg counts did not differ by blood group, 
Mosquitoes don't produce more offspring from O, they're simply more drawn to it. So, you take the hits. That means your risk stems from frequency, not mosquito fertility. If you're type O, step up prevention, especially in the morning and at dusk when mosquitoes are most active. Let's move to action steps drawn from the article. First, cut scented body products and switch to unscented basics. Fragrance chemicals often act as endocrine disruptors, tied to reproductive, developmental, and metabolic concerns, and they amplify mosquito signals. Choose natural fragrance-free moisturizers and soaps. If your lotion includes lactic or alpha-hydroxy acids, set it aside before outdoor time to shrink the attractant cloud those ingredients help create. Second, wear light-colored clothing that covers more skin. Dark shades, black, red, navy, absorb heat and pop visually. White, light gray, or pale blue, plus long sleeves, pants, and a wide-brimmed hat give you extra defense and reduce landing area. Third, skip alcohol before outdoor gatherings. Alcohol raises skin temperature and boosts CO2 in your breath. It's also linked to chronic disease, so you gain more than bite control by leaving the drink aside when mosquitoes are out. Fourth, lower body heat before going out. After exercise, sun, or a heavy meal, cool down with a fan, quick cold rinse, or 10 minutes in shade so heat and sweat drop, and you present less of a target. Fifth, use plant-based essential oils that performed as well as DET and lab tests without toxic load. Russian sage, wild mint, and tangerine peel oils provided up to 2.25 hours of protection depending on dose. At higher amounts, Russian sage matched DEET. Apply by diluting a few drops of these oils in a carrier, such as coconut oil, and spread on exposed skin. Reapply if you're sweating or staying out long. Protection time depends on amount used. Quick recap. Some of you get bitten more because you emit stronger scent, heat, and chemical cues. Genetics accounts for a large share of the difference, and everyday choices layer on top of that. Products that raise bite risk include scented lotions, floral deodorants, sprays, and anything with lactic or alpha-hydroxy acids. These enhance cues mosquitoes already follow, so cutting them can pay off fast. Blood type O draws the most bites. A draws the fewest. Preference doesn't change egg production, but it does change how often you're targeted, which matters for disease exposure. To make yourself less appealing, go on scented, wear light coverage, avoid alcohol, cool down, and use Russian sage or wild mint essential oils as repellents you can mix at home. Natural options can work. Lab testing showed up to 2.25 hours of protection, and with higher dosing, Russian sage performed on par with DEET, minus the chemical risks associated with synthetic repellents. Your challenge? Before your next time outdoors, remove scented products for the day, choose light-colored covering clothing, and apply diluted Russian sage or wild mint. Track your bites and note the difference. If you're type O or tend to overheat, add a cool-down period and skip alcohol. Put these steps into practice and watch how mosquitoes respond. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.